First things first, basically with the Oculus Rift and the HTC Vive and all these different headsets coming out very, very soon, I decided I probably wouldn't do many more of these uh, plastic HMD headset videos. However, uh, this week I got bored, I was doing a little bit of playing around and I chucked something together and I thought a few of you might be interested in uh, what I've built. If you remember in my last video I had one of the uh, larger Google Cardboards from VRBoxes.com. Basically the lenses in those were really good, um, they created quite a high field of view. The only problem was you were using one of these cardboard sets which you had to add a strap onto and it wasn't that great compared to the plastic ones which fit really well. You've got all three straps around your head, fit securely, you've got the foam. So first of all I dug the lenses out of my cardboard. I then removed the lenses from my plastic HMD. I can't remember the name of this one, but I'm going to put it in the video. Uh, this has exactly the same size lenses as a color cross, so I'm assuming you can do this with the color cross as well. I popped out the lenses. Basically, just stick a little screwdriver in this little tab here, and the lenses come out. So you pop the lenses from the cardboard in. I found that the lenses were exactly one millimeter too big to fit in the lens holders. So this is where a Dremel came in handy. So basically I buzzed round the edges of the lens, just knocking that extra millimeter off. And then you screw these back into your headset. Now obviously uh, with the cardboard, your phone's a lot closer to your face than it is with these plastic headsets, which means you've got to figure out a way to get the phone closer. So what I did was I used the Dremel again to sand this bit away just down the middle here. I created a little groove in the bottom where the phone could rest and be roughly in the middle of the headset and I put some little bits of foam padding around the edges just to make sure the phone stuck in the middle and the phone was really secure there. Um, it basically on this one it had to be about one centimeter closer to the lenses than it was originally and that's all I did so there you have it that's the finished product it looks basically exactly the same as it did before it feels just as comfortable in fact it feels a little bit more comfortable because the phone is closer to your eyes so the weight isn't right at the end of it and it's not pulling down on your nose as much as it did before uh, the only other thing I haven't done with this one yet is this little gap here for your headphones obviously um, I need to create drill a new hole in here to get the headphones in the right place but that won't be a problem and overall you get basically the same field of view as with Google Cardboard like the field of view is excellent in this now and you've got the sturdiness of having like a plastic headset with all the additional straps and you've got your lenses which can go back and forward like that so you've got adjustable lenses as well so yeah at the moment this is the ultimate headset until the consumer versions of like the HTC and Oculus Rift come out. So thanks for all the people who've been subscribing. Uh, this is probably going to be my last one on these plastic VR headsets. There's really not much more to say about them that can't be found on places like Reddit or various different forums. So I'll probably start doing more of these VR videos in May when hopefully some consumer editions of various different headsets start hitting the shops. But yeah, any questions just leave them in the comments. Um, hope this has given you some ideas to play around with for now.